Here you see the one-year master program in organization studies. In the first semester, which is uh, the fall semester, and sometimes a little bit gray, but don't worry, it's still fun to be here. Um, you have five content courses and uh, the master seminar in organization studies, uh, in which you um, uh, write up your research proposal, which is then executed uh, in the second semester in your master thesis. The coursework is uh, organized around the two topics which I explained earlier, complexity and dynamics. The first two courses are about dynamics. Societal development institutions deals with the question how we can analyze what's going on around organizations and how these things influence what's going on within organizations. The course organization dynamics looks exactly that, at changes within organizations and how we can influence and intervene in these changes. The course uh, strategy um, and entrepreneurship uh, combines the two topics and asks how can we uh, organize the strategy making processes in organizations, for example, to adjust them to new market conditions. And one of the examples uh, students uh, learn about in this course is the bottom of the pyramid. And that is the question how organizations, especially companies, can uh, conquer new markets um, in countries where people have very little money, but where there are a lot of them, uh, for example, in India. In the course Interorganizational Relations, we look at how organizations are embedded in relations and networks and how they can manage uh, these networks. Uh, students also learn about how they can analyze these networks, for example, with the social network analysis, um, also in computer labs. So, uh, really how to uh, see how an, organization's, uh, how an organization is embedded in these kind of networks. In the course Complexity with Organizations, students learn a lot about team and team performance. What are the characteristics of teams um, to perform well? And this is a very important topic because most organizations nowadays um, work with teams. Some organizations are also completely team-based. As I said, in the second semester, you write your master thesis. Um, the good thing about the curriculum se uh, setup is that in the second semester, you can concentrate exclusively on your master thesis, which gives you a lot of freedom. For example, you can decide after your IRP, the individual research proposal has been approved, to go abroad to study for another semester at one of our partner organizations all over the world, and then come back and finish your thesis in the third semester. You can organize an internship that is connected um, to your thesis, or you can go abroad to collect data. And students have gone all over the world, for example, to South America, uh, to India, and to Africa to collect data and then come back and write uh, their master thesis. As I said before, we really try to link uh, the masters with the research program of the department. And we do this with the so-called master's thesis circles. These are groups of up to eight students that write the thesis under the supervision of a, an experienced supervisor. Um, and uh, these circles are organized around certain topics. Um, but they are meant to be rather broad, so students can, of course, still uh, find their own uh, individual topic and write their um, master thesis individually. As you see, it's a broad range of topics that we uh, offer uh, around questions of relations of organizations and networks, about innovation. Uh, very um, recent, for example, organizations have started to use crowdsourcing um, to foster innovation. Um, so uh, new media and use the internet to uh, market their products and find new ways to invent products. Then we have uh, circles on internationalization and international culture, um, on uh, uh, critical management, and also circles uh, on internal aspects of organizations like uh, teams, or the psychological contract. So um, after all, these circles um, should help students um, to find a very nice topic out of the huge universe of possible topics, but they are not meant to restrict students. So if you have an uh, idea that you want to pursue, you can come uh, up to us and we can discuss it and facilitate that idea because we always uh, think that students should follow their own uh, ideas and uh, dreams.